nonprofit Animal Rescue is in need of your help. Meredith Barrick explains what you can do to make sure animals don't go hungry this winter. Ashley, it costs thousands of dollars to feed the animals at Critters Corral in Madison. With winter near and the price of hay remaining high, the owner and volunteers are hoping the public will help them get by. Roxanne Stillman has a lot of mouths to feed. Probably 200 head at least. Which isn't cheap. I've never had to ask for four for help. Along with running the nonprofit rescue farm, she's in the auto and truck salvage business, where the prices of metal and iron continue to drop. She's worried about how she'll pay for their hay this winter. We prefer to give good quality hay, and that's the only reason we're having trouble this year, right. because price of iron came down and price of hay is still, still way up there. Roxanne invites people to come and see and interact with the animals for free and doesn't want to change that. They bring me such great pleasure and if you can see the faces on these people. She's now hoping the people who enjoy these goats and ponies so much are able to lend a hand. It would be nice if somebody could help us with the hay. They can, great. If they can't, you can't. Determined no matter what happens to keep bellies and hearts full. We'll get it one way or another. Now that my kids won't go hungry, would never go hungry. I'll go without. They will get fed one way or another. Roxanne also brings some of her animals over to Mendota to visit with some of the people staying there. She wants to continue doing that. And if you're interested in donating hay or money to purchase hay, you can contact Critters Corral. We have all their information on our website, NBC15.com. Go, Meredith. That's a great